And it says we are live. It's Thursday night. I'm here. You're beautiful. That means it's time, baby, for Got Back Goes Live. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late, folks. I'm going to actually try and make the show a bit quick tonight. Myself and Starscream Wife have been getting ready to actually, I'll take that back. Starscream Wife has been working very hard to get us ready. We're supposed to be going uh, camping for a couple of days with friends of ours this weekend. Um, and we're leaving tomorrow. She is working so hard. And I was trying to get a lot of stuff done as well. So, we're going to try and keep the show kind of quick tonight because I haven't even eaten my supper yet, man, because I wanted to come here and do the show with you guys. Um, so, like I said, if tonight is a bit more uh, of a shorter one, bear with me because this day has just been absolutely bonkers. Of course, I'm just getting some stuff kind of ready uh, to go here now. It might be a little haphazard. Uh, kind of starting things off here. So like I said, man, bear with me here just a little bit. Hope you guys have been having a fantastic week. We've been having a good week. It's just that it's getting busy now, right? Uh, if I miss some of the chats and that sort of stuff, guys, I really, really apologize. Absolutely apologize. It's just a, just a lot going on, man. Just a lot going on. Uh, I'll do my proper intro now in a moment. Just bear with me. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum. Why am I having an issue there with that? Whew. Okay, of course, I'm your host, your most humble of hosts, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot, as always, man. Please like, comment, share, of course, subscribe while you're at it, baby. <laughs> Hit the notification bell. It helps me out a ton. It lets you know when content of all sorts goes up here on the channel. Check out Machinery of Man, the Everything Factor, all the groups that I'm either a mod or an admin for, as well as all my social media links. All that is in the description down below. Also in the description, if you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. You can check us out on Patreon. You can see what we offer to you through Teespring. Or, of course, you can hit the join button right here on YouTube to become a channel member. As a matter of fact, patrons and channel members are going to have a piece of exclusive content tonight coming up immediately following the live show show but we'll talk about that a little bit later so that'll be coming up in just a little bit i'm going to just check in with you guys see who's here hey ultra megatronus um hey triple r jay happy to see you jay I, i'm surprised you're here buddy i figured that you would be of all people out trying to scope out the filming for rise of the beasts that's going on in brooklyn man uh i thought you said you were doing that there's our first piece of news rise of the beast has i'm gonna just Grab my pen here. Rise of the Beast has some filming actually going on in Brooklyn. Um, I guess this is obviously going to tie in with the filming from Montreal because that's supposed to play a role as part of Brooklyn as well. Will anybody that lives in you know the Brooklyn area see <laughs> uh, any of the filming? I don't know. I'm sure it'll stand out somewhere, somehow, some way. So they are doing some actual on-site filming in Brooklyn. So that's kind of interesting. Hey, Armor Convoy. Hey, Ultra Marcus. Uh, hey, John. Happy to see you here, buddy. Hey, Ken. Uh, da -dun, da -dun. Um, all's well man it's just busy it's just a really busy day like today i was uh finishing some deck staining i was doing plus i was doing some painting and some door painting and then i had to kind of help starscream wife figure out some stuff we have this uh tent that connects to the car so uh and some friends of ours have um trailers too so like it'll it, you know it'll be pretty good uh but we were trying to kind of figure out all those logistics i think now she's actually kind of finishing um uh cleaning the back of her car so it, it's been a bit of a wild and hairy day around here um luckily not crazy hot here thankfully we've had a little bit of a break from that it has been earlier the week but today was a break from it and i'm very thankful because now i'm able to be here with you guys and not overwhelmed that way just overwhelmed other ways um, yeah, I, I'm not going to be in town to make it to the panel tomorrow, Ultra Marcus. That's, that's, you know, I was, I was, uh, I, I was planning on it. I was hoping, and then this came up and we're, we're just, we're not going to be in town and I just can't do it. Um, but I'm sure that we will again at some point, by the way, for those that don't know what we're talking about, there is a stop motion panel uh, going on for, with the TF reviewers tomorrow with that group. Uh, there's a number of people in there. I was supposed to be one of them. Uh, but for anybody who is interested in stop motion, interested in that art form, it should be a really, really interesting panel tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night, I guess it is. Um, hey, Keldio. Uh, 
Uh, hey, uh, Sound Blaster. You got 100 subs. Good for you, man. Hey, Shansi. I have no subs. You should, though. You're hilarious. I love you, man. Um, hey, Blue. Ah, you'll get your subs, Triple R. I have faith. I have faith. I went to my Walmart and nothing, though. There were two other Walmarts very close. Yeah, listen, I f have a failure of a hunt way more than I ever have a success of a hunt. Uh, hey, Maximal 10. Okay, so I'm going to run through the news real quick because that usually takes up the most time. And I do have a couple of things that I kind of want to note that should probably be interesting. So I uh, mentioned some patron and channel member content coming up right after. You'll see what that is a little bit later. But I wanted to give a couple of shout outs uh, to Ultra Megatronus. I haven't given him a shout out yet, but he is now one of our uh, patrons. Uh, Warren upgraded. Warren, buddy, if you see this, and I don't know if you're here, if you see this, I need to actually speak to you. So reach out to me somehow, some way across one of the social medias, but I need to speak to you. Um, and, um, and Daniel Remsnyder, uh, also now part of the team. So I really appreciate that. Uh, undoubtedly, a lot of the news, uh, that I get that I share with you guys, some of it, you know, comes from a, a number of sources. One of the main ones that I use, and people ask me this all the time. One of the main ones I use is T formers. Um, if you haven't been checking out T formers, you probably should. They do a nice job with the, with the, the news coverage they do. And so, so do some other sites, but, um, I do, uh, tend to defer to T formers a fair bit. Uh, what else do we have here? The Netflix Megatron and <sighs> Skelevor, something like that, the purpley fossilizer dude has been cited in the U.S. It is out at retail in the U.S., so if you're looking for that, you can certainly get it. I, I'd like to have the fossilizer. I'm not in for the Megatron, but I'd like to have the fossilizer. Uh, Alien Attack showed their MP scaled, um, Dark of the Moon, Crowbar, and Crankcase. And, I mean, one of them looks a lot like Berserker, too. It's the Dreads, right? They have teased that hatchet is forthcoming. These look really, really good. Uh, great looking robots. <clears throat> you do, of course, have the dreads hanging out. Look to be highly articulated. The uh, vehicle modes are very clean. The doors open. I really like the look of it. <sighs> is it better than what we got with the like studio series and the last night and whatnot? Gotta be. The transformations on like Berserker and Crankcase and Crowbar and stuff are, oh, they're awful. They're awful. And this looks really clean. It doesn't look panely at all. It looks really, really nice. But I guess it would go with your MPM collection. Uh, but that's coming out from Alien Attack. It looks like this is going to be a ways off yet. They're eyeballing third quarter of 2022. If you don't know what that is, we're just toward the end of Q3 now. So like June, July, August of next year is when they're kind of eyeballing for a release of that. We'll see if it comes or not. PulseCon has been uh, set at October 22nd and 23rd. I don't care. This is one of those things, man. Just, I don't care. Cool. I guess if you want a PulseCon, you got one coming. Way 3 Deluxes are out in Canada. Finally. Talk about being way behind the curve. Shockwave Labs. Showed off an upgrade for the MPM 12 Optimus Prime. It basically gives smokestacks on the shoulders and it, apparently it improves the wrist articulation. I don't know this MPM. Those of you who got it know it. You guys know better than I would. But Shockwave Labs usually does nice work. So I'm sure that it's a nice kit. Is it necessary? I don't know. I mean, movie masterpiece, it's supposed to be perfect already. Why would it need to have an upgrade kit? Just saying, just throwing that out there. Um, what else do we have? Uh, Ark and Rodimus Prime are out in the UK. So if you're in the UK, man, start checking around for Ark and Rodimus Prime because they are out as well as Wave 3 Deluxes and Wave 3 Voyagers. The UK, man, is a lot like Canada behind the uh, eight ball, so to speak. But you guys apparently are getting everything all of a sudden, all at once. Rejoice, assuming you can find it. We all know what distribution could be like, right? On a sad note, Wonderfest, the Autumn Edition 2021 in Japan has been canceled because of a, you know, worldwide health 
issue that uh, is affecting them rather badly once again. So we wish Japan the best. Uh, hopefully, Wonderfest will get back on its feet sooner rather than later. Uh, we saw a little bit more, or we got a little bit more information about three zeros. Bumblebee pre-orders went up, I think, today. It, it's about five inches tall, pretty small. Uh, what else do we have? 36 points of articulation, a die cast frame, which is really neat. Uh, I do think that there's maybe arguably too much yellow. Like I think the legs and maybe some of the arms should have been black, but that's just me. It just looks like a sea of yellow to me. We also saw more images of MP55 Nightbird. This is using the RC mold, highly articulated, looks great, except she got a car on her back and she shouldn't because Nightbird doesn't have an alt mode. As we all know, I'm going to check in with you guys here and then we will kind of continue on here with the news and try and get through it. I know I'm sort of rushing a little, a little bit, but like I said, it's because there's a few things I want to talk about as we go through here. Uh, let's let's check up with you guys here just a little bit. Um, let's see. Hey, Dragonfly, hope you're doing better, buddy. Arkham Rodimus have been sitting at my target for days, right? Uh, as we go down here. Going to be opening the Red Star Scream I got today during uh, the stream. Cool. I, I, I hope you enjoy them. I mean, red's not my thing. I don't like the tactile feel of it. But if you do and red is for you, cool. Um, I, I think I could probably get behind it if they did some of the action masters, like exclusive action masters. Maybe there's a few we've already talked about what would make sense in the red line. But I hope that you enjoy the star screen. I really honestly do. Um, we'll talk through the usual place. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um. It was Warren. Warren, I need to speak to Warren, too. I need to speak to Warren. Uh, I want those. Uh, let's see. Uh, usually Warren's here. I don't see him tonight. I need to see how tall Red Starscream compares to Siege and Earthrise. Seeker Molds. Um, shorter. Uh, I think it's. I think the Red Starscream is more deluxe size than Voyager size. So, I, yeah, I'm shorter. Shorter triple R. Uh, I got the crown out of the red star stream, and uh, it fits the Earthrise star stream. That's really cool, actually. Uh, to anyone in the New York area, Target got the arc um, case. I just gave a heads up. So if you're in New York, um, Ultra Megatronus uh, it says that Target got the arc. So it is what it is. Uh, haven't seen any Wave 3 at all. I hear you. Uh, my haul this week. Uh, SS Blur, Warpath, cool. Rack tonight. Um, I was, Starscream Wife just came in. I was, I was letting everybody know how hard you've been working to get us ready to go tomorrow and that I'm trying to kind of rush through the show a bit tonight because we got to eat and, and all of that sort of stuff. I just got gravy all over my dress. Oh, no. That's not good. The one that's in there? Yep. I soaked it okay, I'll, I'll throw on some laundry after. Sorry, guys. I, I got I got something on my pants from earlier, too. So I'm going to throw on a load of laundry after. I soaked it in dishwasher. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Uh, sorry, guys. Like I said, it's been a wild day here, right? Um, are you avoiding saying the worldwide issue due to algorithms? I'm avoiding saying it because I don't know. Um, and I'd rather not. I'd rather not tip tip my hand to that. I think we all know what's going on in Japan. And uh, what can I say? Our best wishes are with them. I, I, I My best wishes are with them. Uh, let's see. I got uh, the To The Hunt shirt. And it really is comfortable. Ah, see? Look at that. Ultra Megatronus got the To The Hunt shirt. By the way, for anybody who hasn't checked out what we offer on Teespring, though I always mention it, like, there's a number of lines there, honestly. The Bring the Chaos, To The Hunt, the Unapologetic line, Not A Voyager. Um, so much more super duper. There's a lot there. I dig it. Uh, so there's actually a lot there. Tracks blows. Uh, no, not at all. Let's, let's talk about that now. Tracks is awesome. I graded him as awesome, but a lot of people say that their tracks is terrible. He's so loose and can't stand up and trash. Like I need to 
kind of, I, and this is the tracks note that I wanted to make. By the way, the uh, note that I wanted to make about um, the film was the fact that it's filming in New York, uh, in Brooklyn right now. So tracks, my tracks is not loose. First things first, the um, lower leg here, everybody says like, that's just like wiggles and loose. No, like there's my ankle. I'm moving it for you. Mine's fine on that side and mine's fine on this side. My knees, I can bend my knees and they don't fall down. I can shake them. My legs, they they don't fall down. Uh, if I take them back, that one falls a little bit easier, but generally they don't fall. Take them forward. Mine don't fall. Like my tracks is gangbusters. I'm starting to think, though I scored him great because he works the way he's intended to, based on what everybody says, I feel like I must have one that's the exception to the rule. Now, this was provided to me by our buddy Jay Halla, and I'm so thankful that mine works. Now, for this part on the leg, Larkin actually showed a fix for it. Apparently, there is a pin right there, and sometimes the pin isn't all the way through, which creates a little gap here. Uh, now, he shows kind of how to do that. So if you want to fix for it and you're kind of brave enough to apply just a little bit of force, not much because you don't want to break the plastic or stress it, just a little bit of force, that pin there, man. Otherwise, Trax is excellent. Um, I scored him pretty great because he's pretty great. My copy is anyway. I'm sorry, Boss Gunny, that yours isn't, man. And I know that that's usually the way it is. But mine has been kind of tremendous. I, I can't agree when people say that Trax isn't good. I man, I can't agree. Uh, not so with Trax, and Ultra Marcus isn't happy with Trax. I man, I I don't know if you guys are having the issues and they're loose, and if so, I get it. And I even said in the review that as I move certain joints, they feel loose, but they all hold. Like I, he is tremendous for doing stop motion animation with. My copy is because he holds, but if he doesn't, yeah, I could see how you'd be really disappointed. That being said, I feel like, shouldn't the QC be pretty comparable across the board? You know what I mean? Like, shouldn't the QC be pretty good across the board? This says a lot about how little care they're taking with the production these days. I think I'll be skipping tracks. Might get road rage. I wouldn't skip tracks. I, I think he's a great update, honestly, in my experience. If he's loose with the legs, I would do the fix that Larkin suggested. Um... I got a good one, but he's not my favorite. Uh, he's sitting right in front of me. <laughs> there you go, Ken. Trax is a fine figure. Maybe tabs in my tabs in fine. Let's see Jay's tabs in fine too. Uh, I just said, yeah, I see. I said that about the pins. <laughs> yeah, apparently I did ultra Marcus. And I, I'm sad to hear people having this issue with Trax because he's not really bad. It's just, it's like anything. If you got bad QC, that's going to ruin it, you know? And that happens all the time. And I feel like it's happened in the War for Cybertron trilogy lines a lot more, especially Kingdom. Um, yeah, mine are okay, but I can see where the pin is not all the way. Wow. I popped my knee not... Uh, what? I popped my knees not talking about tracks. I don't know what that means. My copy of tracks was slight, just a little knee loose. Otherwise, it was fine. Yeah, it really varies, hey? It really, really varies here. I've heard the QC issues, but I think that he looks... He does look great. Uh, when I get the four-pack of the World's Collide, I'm thinking about customizing the B into a G2B. Um, I want to customize that B. Uh, I, or I think, the, I think that the most logical customization for that B would be bumper, honestly. Put a new head on it and call it bumper. But I mean, if you want to do a G2B, go for it. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just, why, why? If you already got a bumblebee, why have another bumblebee? Like, you know me though, guys. Like, I don't, I don't like to do doubles. So that's just me. Uh, I heard that some people have had their kingdom tracks legs are loose. Uh, how do I fix that issue? I don't know. Uh, like, I don't know what would be loose. You know, like, honestly, um, my Shuriken Prime, I, if it's the if it's the side, like I said, the little pin here, that, if it's the knee, floor polish fix, I, I guess. Sometimes I use um, uh, clear coat, and I find that helps. I don't even know. 
I don't know what to suggest for the hips if they're loose because they're pinned. They're pinned. They're like universals and pinned. Make sure that the pin is as tight as you can get it. Squeeze the pin. That would be my my best my best idea for that. Uh, mine doesn't tab in car mode, and the transformation could be easier. I think the transformation is great. The trend, like, I guess the transformation could be easier, but I love it. I mean, the way the whole foot like flips down and under and comes up around the top of the thigh, like it's one arc. It's a semicircle. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Bosco, like go back and watch my review. Like the foot goes from like, because that I think that's where people get caught up. The foot here and this side, like it loops down around and comes up over the hip. I think that's genius. I don't know. I don't know. I like tracks. I'm sorry you don't, but. I think the engineering was kind of genius on him, and luckily mine's a good copy. But I understand and I appreciate where people are coming from with the rough copies for theirs. Um, let's see here. I'm going to do the Lark. I don't need to do the Lark and Fix, but if you do, Jay, then, man, do it. I mean, it's a pin. It's just to squeeze it, right? Hey, Crumple Zone. And I know I'm I know I'm missing some stuff here, guys, and I apologize. Like I said, I'm just trying to kind of stay on top here, you know? Um, my one problem with tracks is his road rage repaint being exclusive. I don't, I've never heard like until the MP came out, I'd never heard of road rage. I couldn't care less about that character. I don't know anything about her other than it's a her, uh, the spider legs. What the spider leg swap comes, but great with black arachnia. Oh, 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 I know what Jay is talking about. He changed, he had the World's Collide pack and he changed the black legs from Black Arachnia out with the uh, ones from the like toy accurate version that's in the World's Collide pack. And it does look better, honestly. Uh, yeah, I mean, for your friend, it depends on where the legs are loose. Um, for the, you know, squeeze the pin. Uh, squeeze the hip pin, make sure it's as tight as you can get it. Um, sometimes I've used clear coat spray to thicken things up. A lot of people, including myself, also use the floor polish fix. So that's the best advice I can give you there, honestly. Um, I got the Kingdom Deluxe Scorponok from Smith's. Uh, he's good, but any tips on how to fix the Mushroom peg on the shoulder. Probably is loose while I'm moving his arm down. Mushroom peg. A loose mushroom peg is hard to fix. If it was me, I would probably thicken the hole, like the, the slot a little bit. Like I would probably use a little bit of Bondic in there and thicken that ever so slightly and then sand that down a bit again until the mushroom peg fits snugly. It would take a bit of... You know, adding it, sanding it, adding it, sanding it. But that's what I would do. I wouldn't fiddle with the mushroom peg. I would look at the slot that it's fitting in and thicken that somehow. Uh, hey, Connor. Uh, if you ever come to America around very early July, there's a tractor show here. You can find stuff for Transformers. Hmm, look at that. Interesting. I don't right now. I wouldn't be able to go to America. I don't have a. I don't have a passport. <laughs> uh, now I ordered the trailer. I need to save up for two upgrade kits for both Optimus and Mech. I don't know what trailer you're talking about, Blue. Um, and uh, do, 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 do. doing okay, holding in there. Uh, hey, Devlin. Okay, so let's get back to the news to get this out of the way. Uh, so what else do we have? The Transformers Rise game. I mentioned that a little while ago. It has been styled ever so often, ever so often. And it looks like it's going to be styled again because apparently the development company has had a lot of the management team leave. They've exited, including the CEO. I I'm going to tell you now, I don't believe for a second that Transformers Rise is going to happen. It's It's been since 2017. Um, it, like I feel like it's going to end up one of those almost like urban myths, like woulda, coulda, shoulda, like the uh, Silent Hill PT trailer, you know, for Silent Hills that was never made or Allison Road that was never made, though I really wanted it to, you know? So like, I think that Rise is going to end up like that. What else do we have here in the news? 
Um, oh, saw this on T-Formers. I don't even know if it's up yet, but you can check it out there as well. Actually, I think I linked it earlier, uh, maybe in like the um, like community feed or whatever. Uh, an extension uh, for the Earthrise Optimus Prime trailer for the Dead Universe or Alternate Universe one and for the Earthrise trailer. Comes with some stickers. It's not a perfect match, but man, it is close and it really makes the trailer look infinitely better, in my opinion, anyway. Some people might see it and say, no, it looks like an add-on pirate. No, it's not great. I, I think it looks really good. I, I really do, and I think that the Optimus can benefit from it. It's not going to be for everyone, but if you want a longer trailer, I think that's a nice way to go. It certainly adds some value and some length for sure. Um, they also, I also saw there an add-on kit for Nah. I think that's by Matrix Workshop. It basically gives him a more malleable tail. I guess you can do more with it. It's more articulated. And some kind of like Energon sections and swords and stuff. That's an upgrade for the Shatterglass Megatron. So I think that is a cool upgrade because it kind of brings him in line a little bit more with the traditional mold. It's the little things, you know? It's the little things. All those pictures and stuff are at T-Formers. You can check them out there, of course. What else do we have here? Roll and Change, Bumblebee and Optimus Prime are out at U.S. Retail for $50 U.S. Don't buy this. Don't buy this for kids. Don't buy this for anyone. Don't support this. It's garbage. I've already seen it. The articulation is almost non-existent. Big deal. There's lights and 10 sounds. It's trash for $50 plus tax US. No, don't support that. Send the message to stop making that because that's awful. That's no, no. Bad Transformers fans if you buy that. Bad fans. Um, I mean, do what you want. But like, I don't, I don't see something that's a brick. That big deal has a light and a few like bew, bew sounds or some junk like that. $50 plus tax US. I don't I don't see it. I'm sorry, I don't see it. I mean a liter is 50 US. There's no way you could tell me that this is equivalent to a liter. I just don't see it, man. X Transbots, on the other hand, finally showed off their Motormaster trailer. It goes with their gravestone, right? Um, it comes with alternate faces, it comes with a bunch of like weapons and stuff, it comes with a sword, it comes with a blaster, it comes with car parts. To go on the two arms. It comes with basically everything for the combined mode. It looks tremendous. It's sad though that you have to buy Gravestone and then you have to buy his trailer separate, you know, but the end result might be really good. Now I've heard mixed reviews, I'll call it, for how successful it really is. Um, I'm not going to say anything about it yet. I want to see a lot more. Let's put it that way. Um, I won't buy that for $50. No, man, don't buy that for $50. Um, the new Earthrise trailer? Nah, if I got another, I'll pass. It's not really a new Earthrise trailer. It's an extension for the Earthrise trailer. With these upgrades, Optimus is going to cost more than Rodimus. Ha! Fair enough, Jay. Honestly, fair enough. Transformers Rise is canceled. Oh, just watched a video from Proto Man talking about it. I didn't hear it was canceled. Last I heard was that there was an exodus of a lot of the management. Um, yeah, yeah, like I said, it's going to be like the PT trailer. It's going to be like Allison Road, right? Um, the four pack also fixed the knees on Nemesis Primal. The tabs are. T I, the, there was a problem with the knees of Optimus Primal. I didn't even know. Didn't even know that there was a problem with it. Yeah, like the Transformers Universe game, it won't happen. Yeah, that's right. Um, hey, Bri Bri. Bri Bri. Uh, Starscream Wife is actually not here right now. Uh, I don't need another B or Prime already spent, right? 150 and 300 on both together. Whoa. Uh, just sent you an email that is uh, showing off the non F ban upgrades. I don't know what. But they're for, but okay, cool. Oh, for, uh, I guess that's for um, Ironhide and Ratchet, hey? It said Transformers 
AMT uh, as oh aren't as common. Uh, more like Devastation and the two Cybertron games. Yeah, the Cybertron games were so good. So good. I know the third one, a lot of people are like, are like, let's forget about Rise of the Dark Spark. I get it. I know why you forget about it. Um, want to ask a question to everyone. Uh, what sound wave looks better? Bumblebee movie sound wave or the Fall of Cybertron War for Cybertron game sound wave? I like the FOC sound wave. It's what got me back into collecting. Uh, I'm going to have to go with him myself, but different people will say different things. Hey, uh, Medic. Okay, so I'm going to go down here again. Uh, let's go on with the news here. x Transbots. MMC shut off their Octus Knox. It's basically a Nemesis Prime. Guy looks beautiful. It comes with a cloth cape. It comes with a different, uh, I, I think a couple of different faces with the face plate like actually cracked and whatnot. Uh, stylized, interesting mode. Some people have said that it's more in the like Armada type of vein of things. Some people have said that it's a war within vein of things. I don't know if it's either of those, honestly. It is a bit stylized. Hyper, hyper articulated. Um, their Optimus is tremendous. I'm sure that this repaint with the extra accessories and the extra love is tremendous. MMC, I like MMC. I like their materials. If you want a solid Nemesis Prime and you're okay with something a little different stylized from what you're probably used to, I think he's a solid one to get, man. Really, really solid one to get. Uh, anything I missed there? Uh, I don't think so. I think there's a so Oh, and he comes with a sword that has a matrix in the hilt. It looks really cool. So Optus Knox, MMC's Optus Knox, um, big, big support for me for what that counts. Uh, if, if he's loose and stuff, that's too bad, but everything I've seen and everything I know about MMC, I think he's going to be good. And everything I know about the Optimus mold, I think he's going to be tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. A lot of people saying the FOC sound wave for the record. Okay. So that brings us to kind of the last piece of news, but this is a bunch of listings that came up. I feel like we've gotten like lists of listings the last three weeks. I'll run down through these. I, I got these from TFW, but I'll run down through these and kind of give a few thoughts on what I think about them. And then we'll do trivia, this week's trivia, and then we're going to do the unboxing. Get out of here. Um, what? I pumped my arc. What? Oh, your arc is finally on the way. Oh, 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 I was misreading that. Netflix Soundwave is so good. It's insane. Netflix Soundwave is he's pretty good. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. Uh, 33 minutes later. Uh, would you collect Legends core figures for long trips to bring to keep you busy if you are bored and make a quick stop motion? No, I wouldn't. Um, I don't I do not do stop motion on my phone. I do it on my computer. So that wouldn't really work for me. I, I could see it, I guess, but I don't really go on long trips. I, I'm too old for that. I can't sit in the car for that long, man. I, I just, I can't do it. Okay, uh, so this is the list. So there was George Transformers ROTB fifteen ninety nine. George Transformers ROTB nine ninety nine. I assume the nine ninety nine will be some sort of movie core class. I assume that the fifteen ninety nine is going to be some sort of gimmick thing because it doesn't really fall in any price points. By the way, these prices are U.S. prices. I think that's going to be some sort of gimmicky thing. To be honest with you, I don't know what George is. Uh, also for Rise of the Beast, we have another George Transformers that's $21.99, which is probably going to be the deluxe-ish price for that, or it might be another gimmick thing. So we have those. Also for Rise of the Beast, we have um, Safari that's going to be $10.99, which I find interesting because we had something for $9.99, now $10.99. I think this is going to be a gimmick thing. Uh, but then we also have... Uh, is it Janeway? Transformers? Uh, I can't read my own writing here. That's ten ninety nine. Orion uh, from the movie ten ninety nine. Another Orion from the movie fifteen ninety nine. Ninety nine. I think the fifteen ninety nine is going to again be a gimmick thing. So we have two now at the fifteen ninety nine. I think that's going to be some gimmick thing. We have a couple now at the ten ninety nine and a nine ninety nine. I think that's really interesting pricing. It might be placeholders for now. We have an Orion for twenty one ninety nine which I also find interesting. Pluto uh, for the movie, for Rise of the Beast, for 10 dollars 
um which again interesting i'm thinking for some reason i'm thinking pluto is a shock wave i don't know why but i think it's going to be a code name for a shock wave to be honest with you hey kato i could be wrong about that i really don't know um then there's um barcelona it looks like from the movie 1599 again i think that's going to be a gimmick thing man Cyclops for thirty-one forty-nine. I think that's going to be the price for a Voyager, and I think Cyclops is going to be a version of Shockwave. Is what I'm guessing. George, that's going to be a Voyager. So there's a lot of these Georges. I feel like George might be Scourge. It might be the placeholder for Scourge. You know, Scourge could have a core class. Scourge could have um, like some sort of a deluxe. Scourge could have some sort of a. Uh, I don't know, Voyager. So I feel like that's what we might get. Oscar for $21.99. I think that's going to be a deluxe as well. Um, I'm going to just go up here. Hey, Aid One. Uh, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. Every cent, every dollar counts, baby. Everyone counts. Um, who's my favorite character? Wheeljack. Anybody who knows me knows that, man. Always Wheeljack. Uh, let me get through the rest of the movie stuff here. Movie Warrior for $10.99. Maybe the $10.99 will be the going price for a uh, like core class, Legends class, Scout class thing this time. I don't know. That makes the $9.99 seem peculiar, though. Uh, what else do we have for the movie? Movie 7 2-pack. Bumblebee Energon. I don't know. I don't know what that's going to be. I don't know if it ties in with the Bumblebee movie or if it's going to tie in with the new movie, but I found that to be an interesting one for $26.99. I feel like they will probably be two smaller ones in that two pack. Maybe. Um, there's a role play thing that's a blaster for $20.99. If you like the role play stuff, cool. Uh, going back to the movie, a uh, warrior for $31.49. So we have a warrior for $10.99 that I think is probably going to be. A core class, and then uh, what I'm guessing is a Voyager. I think the 3149 is going to be a Voyager. I don't know what Warrior will be because we don't know a lot of the characters yet in uh, Rise of the Beast, right? Uh, another movie seven, Pluto, Rise of the Beast, 2299. Uh, again, I guessed earlier that Pluto could be a version of Shockwave, but again, with these kind of planet names and whatnot the code names are always a, a you know an iffy thing a barcelona for the movie for 22.99 we mentioned barcelona earlier for 15.99 so i'm going to say a deluxe barcelona whatever that is and a gimmick barcelona uh another george this one for 22.99 like i feel like george got to be optimus right like for there to be a billion georges it either got to be optimus or scourge because they're the two big ones right that's what i'm guessing or it could be optimus primal you know, George, George is Optimus Primal, like George of the Jungle and stuff, right? George is definitely Optimus Primal. I'm going to say we're getting a deluxe Optimus Primal. I'm going to say we're getting a core Optimus Primal. I'm going to say we're getting another couple of gimmicky things Optimus Primal, maybe part of a pack. And I'm going to say a Voyager Optimus Primal. I'm going to say George is Optimus Primal. See if I'm right when time comes. And a deluxe that is codenamed Titan for the movie. I don't know what Titan's going to be, man. I guess we'll see. But that's not the only listings we had. All that was movie stuff. And I know that there was a lot of code names and numbers thrown at you there. And none of that means a whole lot yet because we don't have any of the characters to kind of say who they are. Then we come to uh, the other listings that were found. And I mentioned a couple of them, like the role play thing and the movie two pack. Um, we also have Dead End for Legacy for $22.99 US, the going price for a deluxe down there. Right now, uh, Studio Series Spike for $8.49. A core class Spike? I think I'd be in for it. I assume he would be in the exosuit. I think I might be in for it, if that's what it is. Blitzwing in Legacy is going to be $49.99. I assume he's going to match up with the um, Astro Train, who I found kind of tiny and small. I feel like this Blitzwing would be cool, but tiny and small for a leader. Maybe I'm wrong. I guess we'll see. But I don't know. I still like the Titans Return Blitzwing and the Titan, or yeah, Titan Return Blitzwing and the Titans Return Astro. I prefer the Titans Return Astro Train over the Siege Earthrise. But that's just me. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, Legacy Megatron for nine ninety nine. I assume that's going to be the core. I guess that's going to be the core. You know, would be my guess. 
I could be wrong there, but I think it's going to be the core. Um, I will hug him and squeeze him and call him Georgia. Bitch, I'm right. Dragonfly, I appreciate your buddy being a super chat super fan, my friend. Uh, what else do we have here? Um, deluxe Movie 7 Outlaw. That one is a, del it's a deluxe again. I don't know what that will be. Outlaw is another code name thing. Um, oh, and one more for uh, the Rise of the Beast that I missed. Alpha, that's 999. I guess that's going to be some sort of a core. But yeah, the Megatron for Legacy, that's 999. I assume it's going to be a reissue of the Kingdom Core Megatron. Uh, was there anything else there that I'm missing? Because that was a long list. A lot of it movie stuff. I think that's it. Think that is it. I'm going to do the trivia. Uh, while you guys are answering the trivia, I'm going to read back, and then we're going to do this week's unboxing, man. And I'm excited for this one. I'm excited. A big part of it is all thanks to our buddy, Ultra Megatronus. This came from him, so I am excited. I mentioned last Friday, I put out a short that said that something arrived and that we were going to look at this week, and it was a big box. We're going to see what's in that box this week. Coming up next after the trivia. So the trivia we have tonight is who voiced Astro Train and Ramjet? Was it A, Ed Gilbert? Was it B, Chris Leda, the late, great Chris Leda, or Chris Latta? Um, C, the stupendous Frank Welker? Or D, the tremendous Jack Angel? Was it Ed, Chris, Frank or Jack, A, B, C, or D, who voiced Astro Train and Ramjet. You guys give the answers. I'm going to read up on the comments and get caught up here a bit because I know I've been missing some stuff, man. I know I've been missing some stuff. Um, Let's see. As we go down here a bit, I'm not even sure where it was that I left off. A lot of movie stuff there with code names. George got to be, though, man. Optimus Primal, right? And maybe some of the other names there, like Barcelona. I don't know. Barcelona sounds like it could be a black arachnia to me, you know? Like, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I just want a B Cliff weapon that, or I get the Studio Series upgrade kit. I didn't even know there was a Studio Series upgrade kit. Uh, the only good Cyberverse toy is Rack and Ru No, man. Cyberverse got some great toys. I like my Meteor Fire. I like Rack and Ruin. Um, I love uh, Clobber. I think she's fun. Um, so there's a few that I like, man, honestly. Um, by the way, speaking of that, there was an Ultra uh, Ramjet that came out for Cyberverse. I like the Ultras, honestly. I it, they got the Energon gimmick thing that they don't need, but that's where the Rack and Ruin has come from. That's where the kind of cool um, Skull Cruncher, Skull Smasher has come from. That's where Clobber came from. So, like, there's some... The Ultra used to be trash, like in the days of their Alpha Trion, right? But they really improved. Honestly, I think the Ramjet would be a kind of a neat Cyberverse Seeker, honestly. It looks pretty good. A lot of FOC... Um, Sound waves being thrown in there. Uh, as we go down. I'm going to grab me one soon. Just uh, dish death 103 for Rodimus Prime. Right. That's a lot, man. Uh, could be Curious George, right? Uh, yeah, Curious George. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Curious George Optimus Prime. Yeah, I think you might be right there. Uh, as we go down here. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Uh, as we go down here a little bit. Barcelona sounds like RC. Could be. Barcelona could be RC. Uh, we have a B there. A, B, C, D. Oh, Ninja Bill. D, D, Jack, D, C, C. You're all saying it there. Jack, Jack, Jack. Uh, as we go down here. Barcelona, I think, is Nightbird. Oh, Barcelona could be Nightbird, Jay. Uh, horseradish. I've been messing with Rodimus. He has crazy pose ability. Okay, the answer is D, Jack Angel. Of course, you guys knew it. It was kind of an easy one, I think, tonight. Um, yeah, honestly. And I mean, like, he voiced Ultra Magnus as well. Who else did he voice here? Um... I have no idea what I have written down there. 
I don't know, man. Let's let's do the unboxing, guys. Let's do the unboxing. And I gotta get out of here. I, I I gotta eat. I haven't eaten today. It's been so busy. I haven't eaten today. You guys are more important than food. That's what I'm going with. You guys are more important than food. Um uh, smoke smoke screen. Would it be okay if uh what okay liked it if Paramount kept rc as a car yeah me too i would have liked to to have seen that i'm gonna go eat in a minute man. i'm gonna go eat in a minute so first things first what did i get here first okay so there was a couple of like little notes one from last week when i got the origins b that i didn't read and it just said uh hello again dennis um went to the hunt uh you know um and um Snagged me a B from Cybertron, Cybertron Origins B. Uh, I hope this B is not as uh, painful to transform as others. Of course, talking about that movie masterpiece that was a garbage. I hated the thing. The Origins B, love it. Really, really dig it. And then I got this one. Uh, and this one says, hi, Dennis. May this brighten uh, your day even uh, more. Uh, sorry, may this brighten your day even more. Have a blast, and then good luck is underlined. So that comes from our buddy Ultra Megatronus. What was in this gigantic box? The first thing that was in this gigantic box is oh, oh, buddy, Rodimus Prime. A <laughs> lot of people have been waiting for me to give my thoughts about this guy. Coming up immediately after the live show, I'm going to make available to patrons and channel members my first impressions of this guy out of the box. Tomorrow, get your popcorn, get your favorite drink, sit down. We are going to do a very in-depth look at this guy tomorrow and see if he is indeed Commander Class. Because everybody knows how much I ripped on the... Uh, hot Rod from the Studio Series line and said it's not a Voyager. And guess what? It's not a Voyager. If anything, when we look at this guy tomorrow, I'm going to prove it even further that that Hot Rod is not a Voyager. Is this guy a commander? A true blue commander? We're going to find out tomorrow. This is going to be a very interesting review. We're going to look at him in his totality. In depth, we're going to look at him in comparison to Optimus, to the other um, commander class guys. To all of my season three cast, uh, to the Hot Rod, to the Power of the Primes, Rodimus Prime. That thing's junk. It's going to go in the trash. Um, I hate that thing. Um, we're going to see. We're going to see how this one goes. Will he fare better than Hot Rod? Well, we're going to find out tomorrow. But what I can tell you is I already got the boy out. And I have painted the tires on him already. Um this is him out of the package. Interesting. There's a lot here for us to address, discuss. It'll be, it'll be an interesting one tomorrow. It's going to be a really... I start the review off tomorrow because I, I, I'm not going to lie. I already have it filmed. I start the review off tomorrow and I say that I've had a lot of reviews that I've been excited to do. I've had a lot of reviews that I knew were going to be bad. I've had a lot that I knew were going to be positive. This is the case of Rodimus Prime. And... What you're going to be getting is me kind of discovering things, assessing things to the truest of my ability tomorrow. I did not know how the review was going to go. No idea. And I'm not going to ruin anything, but it's going to be an interesting one tomorrow. I want to thank um, Ultra Megatronus for sending this my way. I mean, Rodimus Prime being sent my way, whether I like it or whether I hate it. it I mean, it's impressive to have... Uh, somebody do something as nice as that. So thank you very much, sir. But that's not all he sent me. He also sent me the four pack, the World's Collide pack here. Actually, I'm going to tell you a story about Rodimus and a story about this. Actually, I'll tell you a story about this first. So with the four pack around here, it is a Toys R Us exclusive. From the first order, our Toys R Us got zero. There is a second order that is supposed to come in sometime in mid-late September. Will our Toys R Us here get a cut of that order? We do not know yet. It is not guaranteed as far as I understand. 
it's quite possible that this set may never come here. So this might have been the only chance I had to get it. Now, that being said, I do like this guy. We'll talk about him probably next week. But I wanted to point something out right away. A lot of people with this guy have said, oh, he can't even stand up. I think it was um, Patriot Prime, maybe. Like, his couldn't even stand up. Like, mine mine stands up like a champ. He's, he's really good. Uh, when I kick the leg forward, like... It, you know, it does it fall like a little bit, but like I got to shake it. Mine is, you know, if I bend the legs, they don't come down. Mine's, I don't really find mine loose. I think like tracks, I was lucky and got a good copy. Mine's not bad, at least in the legs. We'll see how good this set is when we look at it. The story for the Rodimus Prime. So I, all along, said that I was going to get the Rodimus Prime. Even if I don't believe it's a commander, I detest the power of the Primes one so much that I said even back then that I can't wait for that to be redone. And sure enough, it's redone. So I was like, yeah, I got to get it. Whether I'm being ripped off or not is another story. But I got to get it because I hate the, you know, power of the Primes one. So I did have a pre-order in, hey, on Amazon. And then uh, Ultra Megas Tronus let me know that he saw it and he was sending it. And I was like, great, because it was the sort of thing with my pre-order on Amazon that, you know, it's at a stock. We'll let you know when it's in stock. And I was like, oh, this is the cone heads all over again. And he let me know that this was sent. And I was like, cool, man. Thanks. And I said, I'll hold on to the pre-order for now. And then I got a date for the pre-order. Wasn't sent, but I got a, 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 like a revised date of like September 8th or something like that is when he should arrive. I was like, okay. I said, I still won't cancel it till, till this gets here. And I know it's safe and sound. And then Amazon canceled my pre-order. Amazon canceled my pre-order. Just like the cone heads all over again, Amazon canceled my pre-order. I would not have this if it wasn't for our boy, Ultra Megatronus. So wh whatever I think of them, I had to get the Rodimus because I detested the power of the primes so much. Okay, last thing, last thing I got last night, and it is, <laughs> this is going to be an interesting one too, it is this guy, it is Scorponok, and man, he is, he is an interesting he is an interesting case. Um, I've been saying all along that I love my original Scorponok. He he who stars Green Wife calls Crabdicon. And I do. I love the guy. I really, really do. This was when I was like, I'm just gonna pass on it. But I saw it last night and I was like, I think it needs a review at the very least. And I'll let you know what Starscream Wife thought of it when we do the review. So I did pick him up. Is he a success? We'll see. So whole bunch of stuff, right? Scorponok picked up the Worlds Collide 4-pack, and tomorrow, tomorrow, we're going to be taking a look at Rodimus Prime. We're going to see if it truly is a commander, or am I going to have the attitude like I do with Hot Rod? Hot Rod, not a Voyager. Rodimus, not a commander? Guess we'll see how the case goes tomorrow, but I'll say this. Regardless he had to be better than the power of the primes. That thing was a turd. I hate it so much. Um, quite a night. Quite a night. Anyway, ladies, gents, as was said, I know you guys have been saying stuff. Uh, Gapa is going to destroy Scorponok. Hey, Brian. I know I missed a lot of stuff there, here. Hey, Joe. Yeah, right? Amazon not helping me at all. Uh, Ninja Bill um, passed on Scorpy twice now. Right? <laughs> Guys, I know I'm missing a lot there. Oh, hey, me slag. Me slag say everything better than swindle. Maybe, maybe. Um, Fangry is the character I didn't want. There you go, right? Me slag hate Amazon. Me too, buddy. Me too. All right. So that being said, ladies and gents, I'm going to get out of here. I got to get something to eat. Uh, patrons and channel members, you're going to get my first impressions, thoughts of Rodimus Prime right away. As soon as I'm out of here and done here, you're going to get that right away. 
for everybody else tomorrow. Get your popcorn ready, man, or your favorite chippies or your chocolate. Get your favorite beverage ready. Sit back because it's a long one. It's an in-depth one. But by the end of it, you will absolutely not only know everything about um, Rodimus Prime, but know whether or not he actually is worth the full asking price or not. I love each and every one of you guys. I appreciate you coming by here, giving me some of your extremely valuable, valuable time, man. I do know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we offer to you through Teespring, or of course, hit the join button right here on YouTube, baby, to become a channel member. Don't forget that somehow, some way, each and every single solitary day, you right there, you sitting right there, standing right there, lying down on the grass, wherever you're to, you do make a difference, baby. And I look forward to the next time, which it's going to be tomorrow, right? With Rodimus, right? I look forward to the next time when you and I get together to have another visit, either in the live streams right here at the stop motion premieres or the old fashioned way, baby, inside the video.